Hello everyone and welcome to our Arkhamova episode. My name is Rutrin and here going over how to tame a level 150 woolly rhino. For those who watched the previous episode of mammoth taming, I managed to find during the episode a perfect level 150 mammoth. It's right this way in this area. I kind of stopped paying attention to it for a couple minutes, but it shouldn't have wandered too too far. Now I'm actually using the on-screen menu today for once compared to normal, so I do have the um, the normal stone gates available as well as a bear trap. Hopefully we won't need more than one, but I mean, I normally don't build traps too often. <laughs> Let's see, it should be this one over here. Come on, okay, there it is, level 150. Let's what gender is it? Okay, it is, it is a female too. Okay, hopefully this will be a, a good little woolly, woolly mammoth. I'm actually going ahead and build a trap for once because... Why the heck not? I probably should go ahead and prepare for these things. So let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one whole bear trap. Uh, I need some flat ground. I mean, are you gonna walk this way? I don't think you will. Let's see. Place it right over here. One large bear trap. I'm not sure how big this guy is gonna be. I, I don't build that often. You guys know that. Come on, gotta get, gotta get the gate perfect. Come on, Mr. Gate, please play us. I mean, I think, I don't think they can go through gates, so we should be all set. Okay, another one right over here. And that should be just wide enough for our nice little friend over here. He's not mate boosted, so there should be no other Willy Rhinos in the nearby area. And he should be able to fit in there, get trapped, and then I can place the, um, like the fourth and final wall around him. Well, Let's get started and try not to die. We we'll probably should get rid of the RG later. And it'll be an issue. Okay, it's already mad. It's has its awful turn radius. It's trying. Okay, it's coming. Okay, jump. Okay, really? Really? <sighs> they do this every heckin' time. Okay. <sighs> I need better armor for this. Oh, he's coming. Why Why is your turn radius so bad? Please. You're, you're going on the wrong side of the trap. <laughs> why Why is he damaging it? He, unless my chair, he can't even damage stone. Man, I am so confused by this. <laughs> is he actually damaging the stone? It's like, um, yeah, he's not at all. <laughs> okay, oh. Don't, don't want to die. Okay, sir, please. Actually, it's a ma'am. Okay, please follow me right this way. Right in the trap. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's go ahead and finish up the trap. Right about here should be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and continue shooting. Perfect. Oh, what the heck? H how'd he get through there? Oh my gosh, okay. We may have to redo this in just a minute for you guys. If I die, I'll have to go ahead and get new materials and be right back for... Really? Okay, a Rex was not there earlier. <laughs> okay, maybe if I stay in the trap, I won't get attacked. Of, of course, you just start running. I, I don't even know what the train of thought for this guy is. Just please don't get close to the Rex. I, I don't want to deal with that today. Although if it's already running... Oh! D okay, I, I did not accidentally shoot it while it was down. Okay, let's go ahead and wall this thing's down. It shouldn't wake up in a minute or so. I'm going to go ahead and grab the griffin over here and hopefully we can try and kill it with our griffin. Our griffin's not the strongest, but I mean... Level 145 griffin was wild, so it should be alright. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this. Okay, slowly walk to the Rex. Well, fly, that is. Thank goodness for trying to kill a mammoth earlier. It lost most of itself. Okay. We should be alright now. <laughs> Man, I could have sworn that trap would have been really good. We have a quarter of our health remaining. Oh my gosh. Let me go ahead and place down a chef station. I should have planned in advance what kibble this guy actually eats. Okay, come on, there we go. And, okay good, plenty of um of the, like the torpidity left. 
So let me go ahead and pull up the Wooly Mammoth stuff. Let's see. So for the wool, um, actually no, Wooly Mammoth, Wooly Rhino. I know my dinos, guys. So it consumes the Terror Bird Kibble. Well, thank goodness for a handy dandy chef station because I procrastinate too much on making kibble. <laughs> we can go ahead and get um, buy some. Let's see where. Come on, where's the teas? Okay, there it is, and. I think three should be enough. I, I've been reading my comments. I think three, maybe. <laughs> Let me go ahead and deposit the soothing balm, remote use it, and transfer over the terror bird kibble. Unless one goes bad, we should be all right. Let's see. How much does one piece do? Oh my gosh, really? We do not need a dire wolf today. Sir, please do not be annoying. You're in the way. <laughs> This is what I try to do when, like, things always go wrong. Man, I swear if I die from this tire wolf, like, right after. Okay. You alright, little griffin? Eh, he'll be okay. Okay, as for the little rhino, was intact? Oh, did you already eat two of it? Um, it only ate one of it. Well, that must have been some really good kibble. <laughs> yeah, soothing balm with, um, three kibble, and it should already be up in just a minute, so that'll be our perfect tamed woolly rhino. Now, after the mammoth video, I ended up going back to my base, and I grabbed off, um, off of my tannery because I was kind of too lazy to get the engram. <laughs> um, I ended up getting a, um, journeyman woolly rhino saddle, so that, that'll give us an extra little bit of armor, up to 115. I wish I had a, an extra blueprint for it. Sadly, I do not. All my free blueprints have, I kid you not, have just been Ascendant Fabricated Pistols. I think this is like the fifth one I've gotten. I have a bunch more back at base. It is getting a little bit absurd, but I mean, eventually I won't mind a good Ascendant Fabricated Pistol, but not today. Let's see, how's the Wooly Rhino doing? Should be almost up. Come on, you can do it. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, like a couple more seconds. Is that? Oh my gosh. You can see the, another Rex head off in the distance. Okay, at least it should be awake in the time it walks over here. Man, we have the worst luck with things respawning today. Also an Argy over there, Megaloceros. Man, so many things. Okay, and the Wooly Rhino should be up now? Maybe? Yes, okay. So we have for ourselves a perfect tamed Wooly Rhino. It is pretty heckin' cool. It still has one kibble left. I should have only bought two then, but that's not an option when you buy it in threes. Uh, <laughs> I can totally do math, guys. Uh, let's go and grab the saddle. I should have grabbed it in the first place. And we can actually test out the woolly rhino. Where is he going? We should go ahead and test out the woolly rhino against the rex. Um, when the woolly rhinos dash, it should make them strong enough to go ahead and face rexes. So. Let's go ahead and why can't I I ride it? That's weird. Um, there we go. I don't know why the hitbox is really weird, but we'll find like we can still deal with that. Okay, for starters, let's go after the mammoth just to get some extra XP for beginners. Oh, that's a little bunch of direwolves too. Yeah, we just one hit killed a mammoth. We're pretty strong. <laughs> oh my heck, there's so many things around here. Well, I do appreciate all this extra XP, and we're doing pretty good. We already have at least three levels. Oh my heck, there's some really good stats in this guy. Melee damage is really nice. I'm sure I'm pump melee damage for now. Uh, I normally get Wooly Rhinos up to 10k health and then pump melee damage, so we can probably end up with a 10k Wooly Rhino with like 800 melee damage. And if so, that'd be heckin' amazing. Okay, so the Rex should be over here, and let's see with the dash attack how fast we can attack it. Now, of course, we're going to be end up in water. Yeah, the dash at the end of the game ruined. Well, we can still attack him one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, so it's pretty good damage. I mean, we'll survive against this guy. I love how there's like a jellyfish just chilling out right next to us. Let's see, can we kill these? I can always deal with some biotoxin, although we can't... Har oh yeah, I have to herbivore. We can't harvest it. 
That is one downside of Willerinas, but they are pretty high gathering thatch and at gathering berries, so I think it's a pretty good deal. Plus their weight isn't that bad. They have 1,000 um, 1, weight on average. I know that, that the one I had on Crags Island back like ugh, a couple series ago ended up having around 2k weight because I just pumped weight and melee damage. Let's see, is there anything else that we can kill for today? I do want to try to kill another Rex, but I don't want to go too overboard. Man, I would love to find an alpha. I haven't found any good alphas like for a long time on the map. Okay, there is another mammoth over here. Let's go ahead and try and do another rush attack and try to kill it. Just wait for our stam to go up. I'll do another creature stat thing. Um, I'll just up some health this time. Oh, it's cute little rolling over animation. I absolutely love it. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and try and dash. Okay, fun fact, the swimming ruins the dash. <laughs> oh well. Let's just go ahead and kill this to get out of the way. And another level up. I mean, I appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run over here and turn around. Wait for a stam, and then we should be able to just headlong straight into that mammoth and want to kill it. Just for good measure, I'm going to head up some more health. There we go. Man, this guy's already turning into an absolute, uh, absolute tank. Okay, by the way, guys, don't forget you can always comment down below a name suggestion. I personally would love to have this um, have this Willy Rhino named Queen Gorgo after the very first Willy Rhino I obtained in um, our PvE series. Actually, it was the Guan who ended up giving the name suggestion for that, but if you guys have a better name, I'll definitely I'll take any suggestions. So anyways, now that our stand's back up, let's go ahead and attack that Willy Rhino. Come on, gotta run a little faster. Oh, why is it in the water? That better not ruin anything. And dead. <laughs> that only took like a thousand health. Oh my gosh. Oh. We are kind of stung. This is why you don't go in water, guys. Water is always bad. I should probably actually help out my dino. Okay, I, I don't want to do electrocution. Not today. Are the other ones dead? Yeah, the other ones are dead. Okay, I should go, go back and continue riding it. Now, let's see. Is there anything else in the area? Gotta just slowly walk around. Yeah, I don't see too much. Oh, no, I have no beer. Let's see what level it is. Also, an Anki. I haven't tamed an Anki yet. Um, Levels... I'm kind of curious about the Yankee. The Yankee is level 50. Nah, no thanks. <laughs> As for this Willy Rhino, level 50. Why is everything level 50? That's weird. And what's this guy? Huh. <laughs> level 145? Hmm. Uh, I, I don't want to tame another Thatch creature. <laughs> Willy Rhinos are good at Thatch, but Megalos, uh, Megaloceros are, are better at taming, at, not, not better at taming Thatch, better at gathering Thatch. Um, in addition, we do have our, our Mammoth as well, which is also good at Thatch. Ah, but it is level 145. I always want to tame level 145s. Uh, hmm. I'm still debating. I think we have enough materials. Also, what's this RG over here? It's RG level 20. Yeah, you're, you're not going to happen. Can we hit it? Thank goodness for high melee damage, but by gosh, the RG's healing is overpowered as usual. I mean, I'll call, I'll call it overpowered when I'm not personally ha like riding the RG, but every other case, I don't care. Okay, let's go back to the... I should, I should probably kill everything in the nearby area, but we should be alright. Our Ascendant Lonic Rifle is pretty overpowered, so we should be okay with just like shooting it once or twice. Also, our character is starving. It's not very healthy. Well, all we have is biotoxin or raw meat, so there's our choices. Well, let me go ahead and just shoot a few times and see where it ends up. Uh, I, sh I probably shouldn't shoot clo- Oh, there's another over there. Hmm. I don't see any dire wolves, so we should be all set for this. Well, let's go and get started. That, that that was really bad shot. <laughs> oh, there he goes, off into the creek beyond. And come on, 
Gotta jump. And we're already falling. We're totally good at playing this game, guys. Man, this guy's a really good climber. <laughs> Come on, please pass out. Oh, did I accidentally shoot it right after? Okay, I did not shoot it right after. That's that's a good sign. Now, I don't know what Megalos E because I don't memorize things really well. Let's go ahead and check it out. I kid you not, like my most common web searches are just Gamepedia or Dodo Ducks. Um, they eat. I accidentally grabbed the saddle. <laughs> they bo they most like the Dimorphodon kibble. Well, lucky for it, I can give it whatever it wants for food because I just so conveniently have my chef station. Honestly, like I spend way too much um, Ancient Amber on getting cures for this. So let's see, for the Dimorphodon kibble, let's see. Should be around here. Dimetrodon, Dimorphodon. Well, three should be okay if I get a Soothing Balm. I didn't bring any extra ones, but it won't be that much more expensive to buy one. Okay, there we go. And I don't want to shoot it again. That'd be a really bad thing. Okay, gotta go up here and do not want to put the kibble in first. I've made that mistake a few times, but I don't want to do it today. Okay, and we should be all set. I don't think any direwolves are going to attack it in the nearby area. Uh, I mean, this penguin looks awfully dangerous. Yeah, it's totally going to be attacking everything. Okay, Mr. Megalocero, is he back up yet? Hasn't even eaten one yet. This is going to take a while. Where is the other Megalo? I don't see anywhere. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't see the other Megalo anywhere. I mean, it's not the worst loss, a lo unless level 150, but... Oop, here it is. Okay, it is <laughs> level 20. Great. As for this mammoth, level 20. Why is it? Everything's the same level when they spawn in. It's so heckin' weird. Now, I believe the Megalocero saddles can be able the smithy. Let's see. Uh, Megalo. Yeah, it can only be crafted in the smithy. So... I might just put this guy on wander for us, but we can't do too much else besides that. It is close to a max level team, but not perfect. Okay, is he following? I don't think he's following. Let's just go ahead and whistle. Whoops, wrong one. I want to whistle follow all. Okay. Come on. There he goes. <laughs> Who needs unicorns? We got Megaloceros. Let's see, what are the stats on this guy? Uh, ooh, that's really good melee damage. Oh, I should check his stats when it's wild. Oh, well. Um, as for the rest of the stats on it, I mean, health looks all right, auction looks average. The melee damage might actually be a high stat, so if so, I'm really happy about that. Um, have it, the higher the melee damage is, the higher the um, gathering is for any sort of like berries or thatch. I mean, at least it's fast at running. And of course, our griffin's attacking something. What the, really, a dire wolf? It's a level five. <laughs> oh, that's just sad. And the megaloceros killed it. <laughs> Man, it's like one egg and strong deer. Man, I wish I had the saddle for it right away, but sadly, I don't have an RG, so I don't have a mobile saddle or um, castroids. And we also don't have our smithy with us. I mean, I don't think I can pick him up with the griffin. Let me just double check. Come on, Mr. Griffin. There we go. And yeah, I kind of figured as much. We can't pick him up. Oh, well, we'll have to make the trek back all on foot with everyone. <laughs> oh, well, also, do I have any food? Because I've been starving for a really long time. Do not want to eat the biotoxin. I don't want to punch our griffin either. Okay, that'll be good enough for now. And we, we don't need our chef station. 
Okay, as for our really awesome Lily Rhino, let's go ahead and head back to base a little bit, just showing off how good's gathering is. As well, I can't really test out the Megaloceros, but just imagine that it does the exact same thing as the Wooly Rhino, but it gathers slightly more thatch. <laughs> okay, our Megalo's not following. He found a Perlovia? Yeah, he did. Man, I almost never find them. That's so weird. Well, oh, that was a level 145 Perlovia. <laughs> oh, I always talk about I could never find them. <laughs> Oh, that's the worst. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I could have tamed it. <laughs> well, I mean, is the body still here? Okay. We, we can spend 45 Ancient Amber and we can revive it. Oh, that, that just breaks my heart. <laughs> um, we do have... Actually, no, I... I I believe Perlovias can fit through normal dino gates, so I couldn't use my trap ba um, back there to do it. Well, I do have an idea. Hopefully none of my dinos will die in the meantime. I don't remember if um, dinos still get their level boost if you kill them and, re and try to revive them. I haven't tame revived a dino since my like, very first quest a super long time ago. So let's go ahead and try and do that. I mean, three tames in one day is a little bit absurd, but... I, make, I think it's a really good idea. I mean, we have the ammo for it, so why not? Now, of course, just knowing me, somehow our dinos are going to die from this. I should never leave my woolly rhino and the uh, megaloceros by themselves, but with my luck, the one alpha rex that I never ever see would probably spawn in over there. I have never actually found an alpha carno or an alpha rex yet. I've, I've seen two alpha raptors. That was back during that one episode of the Carno. Other than that, never seen another one again. Okay, time to spend a bunch of Ancient Amber just to revive a Perlovia, guys. Holy heck. Okay, we're also probably going to get attacked really bad. Let's see, do we have any food? I mean, I can just eat more berries. I should probably actually repair it and get some health before him. I know my eat button's like only working half the time. That's so weird. Okay, there we go. I actually ate one raw meat. I mean, not raw spoiled meat. That, that poor level 145 Perlovia. Well, let's see. Our, our griffin is following the woolly roly rhino. <laughs> That's worrying. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and just stop that, just in case it bugs back, because I do not want to walk the rest of the way. Uh, let's see. Can I park this guy anywhere? I think this... Nope, please don't lay on the ground. I... Mr. Griffin, please. Okay. Hopefully the Perlovia can't climb walls. I mean, I haven't tamed a Perlovia in an extremely long time. Oh, my health is really, really bad. Uh, how good's my armor? Not that good. Are we actually getting health? Hmm. Well, there is a risk to it. <laughs> Do we have any um, hider fireworks? Like, I might craft a sleeping bag just in case. Here's some fiber rope here we can gather. Come on, gotta punch it. Why? We can't gather any of this. There we go. Oh boy, a whole four fiber. <laughs> Okay, this may actually take a little longer than expected. There we go, a little more fiber. Come on, gotta gather. There's a, there's a bush right over here. Okay, can we craft at least a sleeping bag? Because if so, I would appreciate that. Well, one whole sleeping bag, so in case we die, I get one extra chance. It might actually be smarter for me to die and then um, to die and then use it right away. And eh, why not? Um, I don't know how to kill off my player very fast, besides just eating biotoxin, but let's see. I mean, let's just spam eat raw meat. That'll help things. Then we can go ahead and grab the sleeping bag and wake up. And then after that, shoot, I could just use, I'll just use the sleeping mechanic. That should fix things. I don't actually know if that'll fix your health. I, I almost rarely use this. Okay, we still have bad health. 
kind of expected that. Um, are we still dying? I honestly can't tell. My character's not making the weird noises. Okay, we're gaining health now. Um, well, let's go ahead and just spam eat biotoxin. Will that fix our issue? Man, we have too much health for ourselves. Come on, can, can we please die? <laughs> I just want my character to just... Okay, come on. Okay, thank goodness. I, I was kind of worried that would stop us right at that health. Okay, respawn sleeping bag. And then we should be able to have full health and not have to deal with having like 30 health to Perlovia. Although, okay, for a second I was, I was worried my stuff would go through the world. Okay, we should be all right. Let me go ahead and clip all the armor. Would not want to be cold and actually lose all of our health again. Okay, we should be all set. Let's go ahead and... Man, it is really dark out. Hopefully it won't run away really fast. Let's go ahead and deposit in the creature implant. And resurrect. He's probably going to tag us right away. Just heck and know it. Hi, Mr. Perlovia. Hi. Oh, you have like a bunch of health. And it takes a bunch of time for me to reload. Oh, I can just go right up here. Thank you, Perlovia, sir, for, get, for showing me the way. I keep on saying Perlovia, sir, but it's Perlovia, ma'am. I really got all my stuff in, like stuff straight. Oh, he's running. Actually, she, she's running. Man, I gotta learn all these things. Oh, okay, I, I shot just in time. Well, we are also taming a Perlovia today. I do not know what Kibble it needs. <laughs> Today, I'm just wasting all my chef station stuff. Um, let me go ahead and, as usual, just pop up all of the um, arc wiki stuff. Let's see. Actually, I'll do dodo decks this time. Change it up a little bit. Okay, the Perlovia. The Perlovia. It eats moss chop kibble. The one thing I actually have material for, but I'm too lazy to make. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and, let's see, chef station, place that down. There we go. There should be moshed up kibble right around the M section, if I know my alphabet correctly. Okay, moshed up kibble, that should be just enough, and wasting more of our ancient amber. Let's go ahead and get another soothing bomb. I'm pretty sure I even have more back at our pace, but I don't want to walk back again. Okay, deposit in one whole soothing balm and mush chop kibble. Man, three heckin' tames today, guys. We are getting a perfect tame Molly Rhino, level 145 Megaloceros, and a level 145 Perlovia. This is heckin' awesome. I have not actually tamed a Perlovia at all, so we'll find out what it does. <laughs> That's pretty much self-explanatory. I know it has the unburied ability. I haven't tamed it though in single player or in a multiplayer series. I've tamed it on PC, but the UI is a little different. And I just looked outside and in real life, it's already snowing. It's been like the fourth time it's snowed. What the heck? Okay, let's see. How's the Perlovia doing in the meantime? I don't want to think about snow at all. Okay, Mr. Perlovia, come on. He looks so happy sleeping. Like so peaceful. Let me go into camera mode so I actually see a little better. Actually, ah, uh, oh. Well, that was fast. Tap to bury. Well, there you go, sir. Avoiding life's problems. Tap to resurface. Convenient. Now we know what it does. So you can change the, um, the following range and targeting range. And I'm sure the targeting range does also affect its ability to, um, to bury and to bury and unbury, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, I think it's kind of like the other dinos. You can affect it from. Okay, you cannot unbury it from this menu. I thought you could, but apparently not. But we got ourselves a cute little Perlovia. So again, we can have cute name suggestions in the chat. Um, it is a female Perlovia. It is. I mean, if you guys want me to die, I totally can. I kind of like its, co its current color pattern. It reminds me of raccoons. I mean, I think it looks really cute, though. So, it has um, pretty good melee damage. Um, health looks okay. You can't ride these guys, so you don't need a saddle or anything. I'm probably not going to equip any... Um, actually, I kind of want to get a collar from this guy. I want to get a bow tie, but I always get bow ties. Hmm. I, 
I honestly don't know. Oh, well, guys, if you want me to get a t collar for it, I'd rather not spend money on a gold collar for it. Maybe a gold collar for the mammoth or for the woolly rhino, but not for this guy. As well, if you need any suggestions, definitely drop those in the chat down below. But yeah, I think his melee damage looks pretty good. I'll have him as a cute little guard dog in front of my base, or... He th he's not a guard dog, like... Guard raccoon? Guard... I don't know, whatever the heck these guys are. So anyways, thank you so much everyone for watching this video. I think I'm gonna end off right here because three tames has been an awfully, like an awful lot of time. I, I could show more about each character's like thing and stuff. I mean, can I make a target? Uh, yeah, I can't make him really target this, but it's not too much else besides if you bury him, a wild dino will walk by or even a player. And if he, if he gets into the aggro range, he'll jump up and attack it, which is really interesting. I mean, I think it's really cool. As for the Megaloceros, they like um, like hitting thatch and stuff. I, I don't know how to describe that very well. And the Woolly Rhino is great as a tank for facing up against anything that you can run into. So anyways, that wraps up the video. Here's my dead player. Here's the Perlovian. <laughs> I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, always leave a like down below. And be sure to subscribe for more content. And anyways, we'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.